we alluded to in the study of Jesus in the book of John turning water into wine. Welcome to your daily 180 Bible study. Some people have suggested from that that Jesus was placing a endorsement stamp upon the drinking of alcoholic beverages in a social gathering. Now they will argue on one side of the coin that you don't get drunk. You just drink a few drinks moderately and you don't get drunk and, and that's okay. And they'll argue that drunkenness, whatever that is, whatever they want to define it at, is not permissible. That it is sinful, it's ungodly, and it's wrong. And you cannot be a participant in that. But I want you to think about it. How much wine had they already had in the book of John, chapter 2, before Jesus made more wine? You see, if you take that literally and you look at all of the wine that they already had drunk and they had well drunken, and then you look at all of the wine, the gallons and gallons and gallons of wine that Jesus made after they were already well drunken, when you add all of that up, you're not going to get that Jesus was endorsing the idea of drinking wine moderately. But in this instance, you're going to see that he would have had to have been endorsing drunkenness. He's giving people enough wine to make anybody drunk that would drink that much wine, but they were already well drunken, and therefore if he turned it into an alcoholic beverage, he wasn't just endorsing a social drink every now and again. He wasn't just simply saying, if you want to take a drink sociably with a friend or at a meal, that's all right. No friends, he would have been endorsing drunkenness. And we've already read from both the Old Testament and the New Testament, Galatians 5, 19 to 21, where drunkenness is condemned and those that engage in that drunkenness cannot enter into the kingdom of God. We've already seen from 1 Corinthians, you don't keep company with a brother that's a drunkard and other things. And so when you add that all up, you cannot justify it. In, first, in John chapter 2, the idea of Jesus turning water into literal alcoholic beverages that make people drunk. What he did, he turned it into the best grape juice that this world has ever known. And they said he saved the best for last, the new wine, which is grape juice.